Hi friends, today we are going to talk about something very important related with IDOC. Okay, so one thing we are going to see is how we can keep track of an, uh, suppose you have a purchase order number and it's in some IDOC, but you don't really know the IDOC number and how to find it. How will you know it? It's not possible. So the transaction I have told to monitor IDOC is WE02. Okay, and suppose I put here three, okay, and I'll go, I'll do the postmortem, okay. So here we have an IDOC, suppose I'll go down here and we will try. So this is an IDOC, okay. And now I'll go into the data records and I want to see what is the purchase order number in it, okay. So here, if you see, this is the purchase order number. Now, the requirement is someone has sent me an IDOC. I don't really know what is the IDOC number. How will I find it? So there should be a way. It's not possible for me to go into every possible IDOCs and check which one it is. Okay. So how will you find it? So in SAP, everything has been built a smarter way. The only thing you need to have the attitude to know that it is done or you need to know the person who knows it. And this video will tell you the second option, a person who knows it and he's sharing. Okay. So here you take this PO number. Okay, and now what you are going to do is we are going to go to a transaction code. So let me go in a transaction code. Uh, what was the transaction code? Okay, I think it was BD. Okay, let me go first here and I'll go from here. And I think it was BD87 monitor IDOX. No, not this one. Sorry, it would be BD84. Yeah, no, not BD84. It was BD20. Find monitor. Oops. Uh, it would be BD. No, WE09. Sorry, not the BD business. Okay, WE09. So here, what I'll be doing is I'll be putting the value here, and I know no nothing. I have just this purchase order number. I don't. I'm not even telling you what is the. Uh, what is the type of the field and I'll just execute and boom I get this information it tells me where it is and that's it so this is the powerful use of reporting in SAP out of the box available in ECC 6 as well as SAP 1 so let's try to do something else we'll try to find something where we can use other stuffs also. So what we are going to do is suppose map maps. Okay. We'll go into this and we'll try to do because first time you might say, oh, this is probably made up. Okay. And what we are going to do is probably search something. I don't know what we will be searching for. We'll get something material number. Okay. So I'll try to search with text. Well, you want to search with text? Let's see if it works or not. You know so I'll go here same and the transaction is I'll just mention again so that we don't forget okay it's WE09 very powerful transaction and I'll just put it here execute and voila it tells me even the location where it is so I double click and I know where it is what more you expect from this it can search the IDOC data and tell you what is the IDOC number that has it. So here I'm spinning it's 31045. So let me go and we'll try to find an IDOC with 31045. Okay, IDOC number 31045. And I click here. I get go into here. Probably it was here, right? Or somewhere here there it is and this one it's showing me the same place maktm it's showing me the same place so it does wonder so this will be a very important transaction from where people are saying you oh you know i sent this idoc with this can you tell me some fields when you search no you just tell me hey you tell me some fields like the po number or something or the text and they will be able to tell you and then you can search it from the what transaction we09 
so that's it for, that's it for this training uh, stay tuned to my channel and happy sap learning and have a great day thank you